Okay, so this is a video I've wanted to make for quite some time now, um, but I never really got the time to do it. So we are going to talk about and show you how you can play Dragon Quest X, the online version, completely free up to a certain point. So you can get all of version 1, which is the original game as released, and a very solid chunk of version 2, as well as content from, I believe, like, version 2.2 or something like that all for free in English right now so there are tons of videos talking about speculation on Dragon Quest 10 coming to the West or Dragon Quest 10 offline coming to the West honestly the uh, original online version is gonna be far superior to the offline one in every single way the graphics are way better it's way more interactive there's a lot more you can do and the offline one is pretty much just like a chibi version of Dragon Quest 10 I guess the only positive side that I know of of the offline version is that you actually get the story characters in your party as playable characters whereas in the online version you have yourself and any friends that you want as your party members they don't have to be online though I'll show you how to do that in a later video but uh, yeah let's start with showing you how to get and install Dragon Quest 10 online so you want to go to DragonQuest10Abbey.com or DQXAbbey.com. So be sure you go there and then you want to go to getting started. So, first things first, you need to set up a Square Enix account. Step one setting up a Japanese Square Enix account. Making a Japanese Square Enix account will be the first thing you have to do as a new user, regardless of which version of the game or platform you decide to play. Please make sure to follow the steps carefully to ensure you successfully create a Japanese Square Enix account. However, if you already have a Japanese Square Enix account, you may skip to the next step. So I do have a Japanese Square Enix account, so I'm not going to be able to walk you through this completely, but I will uh, show you the steps as, as featured here on DragonQuest10Abbey.com. The rest of the video I'll be able to run the install and everything with you guys, but for the setting up an account, I don't want to accidentally mess up my current account. So first you want to go to the Japanese Square Enix login page. So once you click on that, you'll get the uh, login account page. You'll want to click on the big blue register button near the bottom of the page. It'll bring you to the account registration page. So let me just show you that. Register for a Square Enix account. And you want to change your location to Japan. All right. So once you change it to Japan, it'll change your region to Japan and then your language to Japanese, as you can see here. And then you want to, this is your Square Enix ID. So put whatever you want your Square Enix ID to be in, in here. And then Square Enix password, whatever you want your password to be, put it in here. If you already have a non-Japanese Square Enix account, know that this account must be unique. Meaning that it must use a different email and user ID. So, like I said, you want to change that to Japan, make a new user, and then your email address. Put your email address in the box over here. And then the bottom line here is your date of birth. So, we've got uh, year, we've got uh, month, and we've got date. All right. So once you do that, you want to hit next. You'll be directed to the following page shown below where you'll be asked to enter a verification code sent to the email you used to create the account. So just check your email. You'll be given a code. You just paste or type the verification code in there. Once you've entered the code, click the orange uh, button, click next basically, and your account will be complete once you hit the, the, the finish there. So step two is activating the Windows free trial. So make sure you follow the next steps carefully. A lot of new users get tripped up activating their trial. Okay, so we want to click this link. We want to scroll down. And once you get here, you want to click right here. Dragon Quest X, uh, basically the trial page. If you've got a, uh, if you've got Google Translate running, it's going to help a lot with all this stuff. Uh, and then you want to click, I believe, the top one here. And then you've got to log in. You got to make sure you log in with the uh, username that you created. I already have the full version activated, so it's not going to allow me to uh, to do that. So you're going to have to log in with your new uh, account that doesn't have a full version of the game installed and registered. And that basically just lets you register your account for the trial. 
So once you do so, you will get this screen here. Just click the orange button and click the orange button again to register for the free trial. And now downloading and installing the client. So I'm going to open a new tab here and make sure you scroll down until you can see these drop downs here. And if you click the first one, this is the uh, download. So this is the download for Windows. So just click on that and it'll start your download. Okay, once it's finished downloading, be sure to open it up and click next. And make sure you click install and it'll install versions one and two. Um, click install and let it do its thing. And once this pops up, make sure you hit next and next and agree and then next and you want to install it in program files and next again and let that install and this is just asking if you want a desktop icon and if you don't want it uncheck the box if you want a desktop icon leave the check mark in there and finish let it finish this part of the install now we got version 2 installing click next and next and just like before, make sure you agree, hit next again, and make sure it's in the same folder that you installed version one, hit next, and let version two install, and finish, and finish the installer. Okay, so now that you have the game installed, make sure to go to your desktop and run the install as admin. If you have the locale emulator, um, run it in Japanese as admin. If you don't, that's fine. Just run as administrator. I'm going to run with the locale emulator. All that does is makes it so if there's Japanese text that your computer doesn't recognize, it'll display it properly instead of displaying a bunch of uh, question marks and stuff like that. So this is going to run the uh, updater for the client. Just let it do its thing. And now the client is open and the client is going to fully update itself which will take quite some time so let the client install and uh, i will be right back to show you what to do next all right once the client is finished updating um, before you want to do anything else you want to go back to your dragon quest x abby.com guide and open the uh, translator. I'll post these links in the description as well. So you don't, if you don't want to use DragonQuestAbbey.com, you don't have to. You can just use this video. But I honestly would recommend going to Dragon Quest 10 Abbey and just using this video as kind of a hand holder through the process. So you want to go download the translated launcher and the translated config. And let's start with the launcher. So let's go. It takes you to this Mediafire link. Download the launcher and download the config.exe. Next, what you want to do is find where you installed the game. Uh, so you want to go program files under C and then go to Square Enix, Dragon Quest 10, and then you've got a boot and a game folder. We'll jump back over to here and the launcher goes inside of the boot folder and the config goes inside of the game folder. So let's do that. So let's put the launcher right here in the boot folder and replace. Make sure you close the client before uh, updating the uh, launcher and config files. Okay. And then we'll do the same for the config file. Go into game, paste it in here, replace. Continue, good to go. So those have been replaced. All right, so here is where the difficulties may arise. If you are living outside of Japan or the United States, you are going to need a VPN uh, that is set up to be through the United States or Japan and then reopen the launcher. But I can still kind of show you what we want to do and then I'll show you the results on my main PC, which does have a VPN running on it. So reopen the client for Dragon Quest X. Again, make sure you open as administrator. If you got the locale emulator, open uh, with that as well. It's not entirely necessary. It's handy if you get error messages because they'll actually show up and show the Japanese text. Some of you may have just question marks in here, which is what the uh, locale emulator uh, replaces with actual Japanese text. 
So I already have a character, obviously. Also, you'll notice now that we've replaced the launcher with the English one, as well as the config with English, uh, you'll be able to do any configurations you might want in English. So whatever you want for your controls, your uh, graphics, sound, all that can be all done in English. Every time the game updates or the client is updated, it will replace your launcher and config files with the Japanese ones. Honestly, once you have it all set up, I pretty much just leave it anyways, and it's not a big deal. You know where all the buttons are if you don't know any Japanese. Um, the only ones you're really going to be using are the um, logins and stuff like that. So what you want to do, if, even if this is in Japanese, um, you want to go add new player. So this is guest player. And what guest player does is it'll still save your progress. But if I go, say, from my laptop to my desktop PC, since I just logged in as a guest player, I won't be able to actually access my characters on any other systems than this one. So you do not want to log in as a guest player. I did with my original guy, which is why I had to create a whole new account when I started playing the game again last year. Uh, what you instead want to do is add new player. And then this is to register. We've already done that. We've already registered for the trial version at the kind of the start of this video. Uh, so then you just want to put in your ID and password and then create the player. And then he'll show up on the side here. Um, I'll switch to my desktop so you can kind of see the difference. So it looks like I still haven't learned my lesson from before when I was on my laptop and I am still on Canten Play or Easy Play, which like I said, if uh, you log in this way, you're not going to be able to access your account on any other device so if something happens to your computer all your progress and characters are completely lost there is a way to uh, transfer them but you have to create a new square enix account which is what i did if you look here you can see there's an id linked to this easy play account so all my stuff will be saved to my square enix id if you screw up and you just make an easy play account there is a way to link it to a new account it's just a bit more work and you don't want to be doing that if you don't have to i'm just gonna go game start and it always opens windowed for me, so definitely make sure you uh, full screen it if you prefer. And like I said, I've got all the translation stuff running, so most of this will be in English. And here we are. So once you make sure that your game will boot, you can log out, and then we can begin uh, getting the Clarity Project set up. And the Clarity Project is what does all the translation for you. So next, you want to head on over to the Translation Tools page for instructions on how to get the game in English. Uh, if you like to configure game settings, like I kind of showed you there, click the purple Drackey icon on the right side of the launcher window. For more information about the config and its settings, can be found at the Ethan Wiki. So there's a link to the Ethan Wiki there. The Ethan Wiki is a really good English guide, the only English guide I found on the game. I definitely use a lot of Japanese guides because they are better and more in-depth. But for some stuff, it's nice when they show up on the English guide. But when it said Drackey, it means right here, the config right there, and uh, right here as well, as you can see on mine. But next up, let's get the uh, translation going. So you can go, you can either click the link down here, the translation tools, or you can go to utilities at the top of dragonquestabbey.com and setting up translation utilities. All right, so this next part is crucial to being able to play the game in English. Uh, there are two different choices when it comes to regular NPC and uh, just in-game text. So let's start. Dragon Quest X Clarity is the main translation tool for Dragon Quest X and allows a large portion of the game to be translated into English with a few simple setup steps. Dragon Quest Clarity exists in two parts, a translated data file that overwrites Japanese text in the local game client and a program that translates text sent from the server, such as NPC text, player names, and monster names on the fly using an API service. Using both of these parts in conjunction will give you the best English experience. Before you can use the Dragon Quest X Clarity program, you must register for an API service, which is detailed below. Please read all the steps very carefully. Obtaining the DeepL API key. So this is the one that is recommended by most players of the game. I use it myself. Uh, forewarning, you do need a viable credit card in order to verify uh, what country you're in because it, only certain countries are able to use this DeepL API key. It's just an AI translator basically that translates 
in-game text on the fly at all times. If you're uncomfortable with using the whole credit card thing or DeepL API is not available in your country, there is a list here. If you click this, it'll show what countries are supported. So you can click that, check if your country's in there. Like I said, if you're not comfortable using the credit card thing, you can also use the Google Translate API as an alternative. And there's a separate kind of guide for that. I use DeepL, I put my credit card in, They've never charged me or anything like that, so it's perfectly safe to use, and I'll kind of show you how to do it. So there's the DeepL site, uh, and you click sign up in the sub menu in the top right. I won't be able to walk you through the whole thing because I obviously don't want to show my my uh, email address and uh, credit card info and all that stuff. But let's go over there. So once you're in the DeepL website, uh, you just want to go to the top right here and click on sign up. And then scroll down so you want to go to developers and then sign up for free so if you just stick to the individuals and teams you can try it for free but then they're gonna start billing you annually um, there is a free one but I honestly I don't know how to get the the regular normie free one if you just go to four developers you get free access all you need to do is sign up you click sign up for free put your email address and password in so once you've completed the sign up with accurate information uh, and have been verified by credit card and possibly email as well, click on your name up, up here and go into account as you see. And then in the account tab, scroll down the page and look for your authentication key. You need to copy that. And if the text above your authentication key says authentication key, deep L API and cat tool integration, you've signed up for the wrong type of account and it will not work with clarity. So make sure you follow this steps I previously mentioned and the steps in the uh, Dragon Quest 10 Abbey website to a T otherwise you might end up with the wrong one. So honestly that's the hardest and and what most people would consider to be the sketchiest part of doing the whole clarity project setup. You can opt not to use an API as it says here but the majority of the NPC dialogue will remain in Japanese. And then what you want to do is you want to install clarity. So go to Dragon Quest 10 Clarity's GitHub page and download the latest release from the releases tab. Make sure the release is tagged latest and not pre-release. Download the DQX clarity zip file do not download the source code files so if, if you're like me uh you probably hate github <laughs> and you want to go to releases and there you are once you once you find your way to releases you just want to go to Dragon Quest that says latest as you can see and you want to go to Dragon Quest 10 clarity zip and download it extract Dragon Quest 10 clarity zip anywhere except the program files folder and locate DQX clarity exe and you'll want to run it as an administrator there you go so I unzipped it in my D Drive and here it is Dragon Quest 10 clarity we want to right click on it make sure we open as administrator when it's your first time running Dragon Quest X Clarity, you definitely want to update everything. Use API dialog if you uh, did that whole API translation thing. I didn't for the purpose of this video because I don't want to enter all my credit card information twice. I already have it set up on my, uh, on my main desktop computer, so it'll say no API functionality. If you want to set up your API service, you just click that API service settings, and then you uh, this, this window here will pop up. Um, that key that I told you to copy, you click, if you use DeepL, you want to click here, put that key in, check characters, save settings, and you're good to go. If you use Google Translate instead, click there, you'll get a key from the Google Translate API, you hit save settings, and you're good, okay? I'm not using the uh, API for the purpose of this uh, video, because I already have it set up on my other computer, I don't need it on two. Um, and then, it's up to you if you want community logging and additional debug logging and disable update checking. Um, I recommend leaving the updates on, so don't click this box. I usually don't run the update when I normally play the game, but if it's your first time uh, running Clarity Project, you definitely want to have it all running. So launch Clarity. You'll get this blue window. If you don't have uh, Python installed, uh, Clarity needs Python to run. Uh, so just hit yes. It'll just install it quick. Takes a few minutes because this is your first time running Clarity. I can promise you the next time you run Clarity, it's not going to take this long. 
Once it's done installing, it's gonna download any updates and translation files. And now uh, it is completed and you're ready to rock. I'm gonna jump back over to my PC now and I'm gonna show you what order you should do all the steps in order to boot up the game in English. Don't worry, it's not that complex. It's just there's a certain order you have to open each thing in order for it to work properly. Okay, so first thing you want to do if you do not live in the United States or Japan, you want to run your VPN. Um, I use CyberGhost uh, only for the fact that my friend has a bunch of different keys for it through his work and he was nice enough to give me one. I connect to one of the Yokohama servers in Japan. I just seem to get a better up and down rate from it. Next, you want to open Dragon Quest X Clarity. As administrator, always open it as administrator. Um, if you want, you can go into like properties and then go compatibility and click in this box, run this program as an administrator and it'll always automatically run it as an administrator even if you just double click on it. Next up, you can see I have the API set up on this computer it says API functionality enabled on this one. I'm not gonna uh, update any translated files because I, I was just playing Dragon Quest X like a couple days ago, but you wanna go launch Dragon Quest X Clarity. You'll get this blue screen and it'll start installing the dependencies and running Clarity, and it'll, I'll tell you when it's done here. You'll know what to look for. It doesn't take any time at all, honestly. And there you go. So it's all up to date, um, and it says here, launch Dragon Quest X and log in to continue. So go here, run it as administrator, or if you got the locale emulator, run that, run in Japanese as administrator. The way to tell if you need a VPN or not is once you get here and you hit game start, you'll get an error that'll show up saying that you're in the wrong region, basically. So now it's running the game, and you wanna wait till you're at the important notice screen, which you'll see in just a moment. I usually wait until Clarity tells me to minimize it, but honestly, you could probably just run the game normal from here on out. You probably don't have to like wait or anything like that. Full screen it if you're running it in windowed mode. So that was the uh, important notice screen, by the way, the one I just hit X to get out of. Um, and Clarity says, yeah, done. Keep this window, minimize it, and have fun on your adventure. So I don't know why the news is taking forever to load, but let's go venture forth. And you can see all my characters here. Log in as my main dude. If you're streaming, you want to be on channel, I believe it's 10 or 21. 10 is the uh, kind of new player version, and 21 is like older players, players that have been playing for a little while. And here we are. I got some EXP because somebody was using my character in their party as an NPC party member. And my next Dragon Quest X video will be showing you how to do that. As you can see, I've got a party. I've got Crispy, who is my monster pet, um, as one of my monster taming uh, job classes. We can take a look at him right here. There he is. And he's got his skill points and all that, all his skill trees. He's basically my healer. But as you can see, everything's in English. Sometimes the NPC dialogue will be a little jank because, like I said, it's AI translation. But most of the time, it's pretty damn good. And all the story translation is done by fans who worked on the Clarity Project. And they did a phenomenal job. They, uh, they got the speech patterns down for, like, the way Dragon Quest games have been uh, talking lately. They've got all the monster names correct. They update them if there's new information on them. It, they've been just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, my name wasn't in the game properly because Dookie's not like a normal word or name. And somebody was watching my stream that works for the Clarity Project and they asked if I would like my name put in the game and immediately he went, put it in the game. Next time I ran Clarity, my name showed up in the game. So yeah, that is how you install Dragon Quest X and can play it for free as long as you've got a VPN, if you're living outside of Japan in the United States, if you're in Japan in the United States, you don't even need a VPN. You can play the trial version for free. The trial version goes all the way into, I want to say at least halfway through version 2. Version 1 is the game as it originally released. So it's the full story. You're getting a full free Dragon Quest game, fully in English. Um, and then version 2, you get the entirety of version 2 as it first was released which is a fairly massive game. I'm probably, we're probably over like 110 hours into the game right now. Um, and we still haven't had to play. I have a paid membership just so I can play Sugoroku and stuff like that. 
Um, but yeah, you get a lot of content. You get almost two full Dragon Quest games for absolutely free with the trial version. So enjoy. I hope this was helpful. If you guys enjoyed this, please remember to like, subscribe, turn notifications to all. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a video on how to get NPC party members, and, uh, yeah, you guys have a good one. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to watch, I stream at least three nights per week, right here on YouTube, as well as on Twitch, twitch.tv slash dookie03. Saturday mornings, we try to play Dragon Quest X, so if you're around Saturday mornings, right here on YouTube, as well as Twitch, uh, we're playing through Dragon Quest X. We're currently doing the King of Calamity, or S Dark Saga, when we're together, and if, uh, Soldier's not able to play, I am doing the Purgatroid side quest, which is my favorite Dragon Quest X character. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.